Hey, what's up? I'm Nick Frosty, and in this video, we're going to go through the installation and setup of a complete localhost web server. Now, as always, my localhost web server setup of choice is always going to be XAMPP. Now, if you're not familiar with XAMPP, it's actually a cross-platform and open source software application suite. This software is chock full of different applications, including PHP, Perl, OpenSSL, phpMyAdmin, Apache, and even more. So in order to get started into our actual installation itself, you want to go over to apachefriends.org if you're not already there, and you want to find the nice convenient download link on the homepage for your respective operating system. Now I'm running Windows myself, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the XAMPP for Windows link to get the Windows installation program. Just wait for a little bit of time in order for the application to fully download, and then you can go ahead and open it up. Now once the installation application is launched, you'll most likely be brought up to this warning message right here. And this is just a very simple warning message to let you know that it's not desirable to install the XAMPP program to the C programs directory, and you're gonna need UAC access in order to do that. But for the most cases, most people are not gonna be installing it there. They're gonna be installing it on the root of your C drive. So just go ahead and click okay on this message. Now you just want to follow through the short installation wizard and click on the next button, taking you through the different screens available. The first screen you'll see is the select component screen. Personally, I like to choose all of these applications to install. Even though you might not be planning on using some of these features right away, it's always good to have most of these features later down the road for further development. After you click the next button, you want to choose the installation directory for your XAMPP installation. Now, like I said before, most people are going to be installing the XAMPP program to the C drive itself. In this case, the C drive and then the XAMPP folder. If you're trying to install it to any other location, you can just go ahead and browse your computer and select that location. But I do recommend installing to this location here. Now, if you're looking to learn more about the organization that runs the XAMPP project, you can go ahead and make sure this checkbox is checked. And when you click the next button, you'll be brought to this web page here. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it and click on the next button. And then just one more button away and you can go ahead and start your installation. Now just go ahead and give it a couple of minutes and let the XAMPP installation program do its magic and you'll be ready to go. Once your installation is complete, you want to make sure you're going to launch the control panel and go ahead and click on the finish button. You'll be prompted to select your language. By default, XAMPP has English and German. Now I speak English obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure English is selected and click on the save button. For the most part, the XAMPP control panel is just going to be used to start and stop your different applications. For the most part, I use Apache and MySQL. I don't typically use FileZilla, Mercury, or Tomcat. So to go ahead and check to make sure our XAMPP installation was successful and that we do have a localhost web server set up, we want to go ahead and click on the start button for Apache and MySQL. You'll see they'll turn yellow immediately, and then they'll both turn green, letting you know that both processes and applications are running. Once they both turn green, you want to go ahead and click on the Admin button for MySQL, and this will launch phpMyAdmin. Once phpMyAdmin loads up, you'll notice that the new URL loaded is localhost slash phpMyAdmin, which is going to be the normal location of your phpMyAdmin installation. If you go back to the XAMPP control panel, and click on the admin button for Apache. It'll load up the localhost dashboard URL, and it'll give you a little bit of different information about the XAMPP installation and the version you just installed. If you wanna go ahead and check to make sure that PHP is fully running and check any of the information and configuration settings for your current PHP installation, you can click on the PHP info link at the top right corner, and this will load up your PHP info script. Most people aren't very interested in looking at the PHP info script though. If you're looking for any more PHP MyAdmin tutorials, be sure to check out the link for the playlist in the description. To move on to the next tutorial in the series, go ahead and click on the video card on the screen now.